Hey guys, so today we're dealing with a surface area problem, and sorry, I didn't take the time to write it out word for word, but essentially they just told you that if you're given a right regular hexagonal prism with a width of 2 um, right here and a height of 7, what is the surface area going to be? So if you remember, the surface area is basically just um, the area of all of the sides added up. So in this case, since all of the six sides, you're going to have six um, sides here, and those are all going to have the same area. So I like to kind of break these problems down like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the area of that rectangle and then multiply it by six to get the lateral area, which is just the, <clears throat> excuse me, which is just the area around the sides. So that, the area for the rectangle, is the, um, the width times the height, so that's going to be 2 times 7, which is 14. So the area of um, one side, we'll just say, is equal to 14. So therefore the lateral area, or the area of all six sides, is equal to 6 times 14, which is, let's see what that is, 24, 84, 84. So now, we all we have to deal with is the top hexagon and the bottom hexagon. So I'm going to redraw those here. Unfortunately, I'm not the best at drawing hexagons, but that's okay. So since this is a, um, since it tells you that it's a right regular hexagonal prism, we know that each of these sides is going to be 2. Um, and unfortunately, I don't remember the formula of hexagon off the top of my head. You guys might. I don't. So I'm just going to go back to what I do know in order to solve this problem. So I'm going to break this down into shapes that I do know the area of. So I'm going to go ahead and, oops, I'm not drawing very well today. Oh man, okay. Okay, this is not working out as planned. Let me erase this and start over. Sorry guys. Okay, erase that. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's start over with our draw with my drawing. Okay, so we have that like so. Okay, well, hopefully you guys get the picture from that. Okay, so I'm gonna break this down and I'm gonna show you that there is a. This is actually gonna be a square. Unfortunately, my drawing is really terrible, but since this is two, this is two, and then this length. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't necessarily going to be a square. Let's not start with that yet. But what we do know is that we know that this length is 2. So going from there, let's go ahead and... I'm sorry, we do know that this length is 2. I was right the first time. My drawing has messed me up. Okay, so going from there. Okay, so now we have this inner square, which is going to have an area of four, and then we're going to have these two triangles on the side. So um, what we're going to do with that, I'm going to redraw them here. Okay, so that's going to be two, two. And now if you remember, the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So like that. So... Um, if we break it down, this is going to be 1, and this is going to be 1 for the total of 2. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. And then the height, we're going to have to find doing 1 squared. I'm sorry, well, that's like a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the, Pyth the Pythagorean theorem. So 1 squared plus, I'm going to call it h for height squared, is equal to 2 squared. Okay, so from there, we have 1 plus h squared is equal to 4 h squared is equal to 3. I subtracted 1 from both sides, and I get h is equal to the square root of 3. It's going to be plus or, I mean, normally it would be plus or minus, but in this case, since we're dealing with heights, the only answer we're going to deal with is the positive one. So, going back to that, so that means that this has a height of square root 3. So, when you want to find the area, you're going to do 1 half the base, which was 2, this original, if you remember, the original total length was 2 because I just split it up into 1 and 1. So 1 half the base times the height, oops, square root 3. Okay, and that's going to be the area of this one triangle. So 1 half times 2 is just 1, so the area of that is going to be square root 3. So 
Now we know that this triangle is square root 3, and therefore we also know that this triangle is going to be square root of 3. So adding this hexagon up, we had the inner, or I'm sorry, inner square, which was 4, plus the two outer triangles, which are square root of 3 each, so it's going to be 2 times the square root of 3. So now, going back to our larger figure, we have a hexagon on the top and a hexagon on the bottom. So we're actually going to have 2 times 4 plus 2 root 3. This is going to equal 8 plus 4 root 3. And we're going to have to add this to this 84, which was the lateral area or the area of all of the sides together. So we have 84 plus 8 plus 4 root 3. Um, this is going to give us 92 plus 4 root 3, and this is going to be your surface area. So hopefully that helped. I am a math tutor, and my email is in the description if you're interested in setting up any tutoring sessions. Alright, thanks for watching.